Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this snowflake beanie hat. If you've seen something like this before, it's probably knitted, but this one I'm going to show you is a crochet version. If you know tapestry crochet, this should be super duper easy because normally we work a piece of tapestry back and forth. It involves a lot of decision making. But for this one, we're gonna go round and round. There's no end of the row, so it's much more easier to learn and do. Before we start, I do need to stretch something, so please don't skip this part. In this video, the pixel picture you see is not the full pattern or the final pattern. I was just showing you how to do it. Um, after I recorded the video, I made some adjustments but I didn't change anything I showed you in this video. I simply just added more stitches and rows so you can still follow me, but just know that the picture you see in the video is not the final pattern. The real pattern, the pattern you're gonna use, you can download via the link in the description box below. So let's get started. I'm gonna be using these ones. This one is 100% acrylic. And this one, 93% acrylic, 7% polyester. They both called for a 4mm crochet hook. The stitch we're going to be using is pretty tight. Um, in order for it to be easier to work with, we want it to be loose. So I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook instead. So we're going to be doing the brim first. We're going to chain, make a chain that's as long as the brim. I do want to point out the pattern is fixed. So you're going to be doing the same stitch count and the row number as I do. So first make a slip knot. You can do it your way. And then chain so after that you want to connect this end back to the first stitch make sure it's not twisted insert your hook in the first stitch and make a slip stitch. So I've brought out the pattern. Um, we're gonna be starting from the right hand corner. So this black block is gonna be the first stitch. After the slip stitch, chain one. In the same stitch, make a single crochet. So insert your hook. Pull up a loop. Now you want to change color, grab the white color and yarn over, pull through. The reason why we use this white color to pull through is because this is going to be the top two loops of the next stitch. So we always have to change color just a little bit earlier. You can mark your first stitch here. From the next stitch, carry the white tail and the blue yarn. The next stitch is white. So pick up the white, insert my hook in the next stitch, and I'm going to put the white tail and the blue yarn on the hook and then I'm going to yarn over. Normally you would want to finish your stitch but as I mentioned we always have to change color just a little bit earlier. 
The next stage is black, so we need to change color here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the white color and pick up the black and yarn over, pull through. Another thing you need to pay attention to is making sure the yarns don't tangle. The blue comes from the left, the white comes from the right. Um, so I'm always going to make sure of that. The next stage is black or blue. So I'm going to insert my hook. Make sure you carry the white tail so you can bury it in the work. And at the same time, carry the white yarn as well because we're going to be using it later. So I'm going to carry them and use the blue yarn to pull up a loop. Because the next stitch is also black, I can go ahead and yarn over, pull through. The next stitch blue, insert my hook, carry both ends, pull up a loop. Now we need to change color again because the next one is white. So what you're going to do is you want to drop the blue and pick up the white. Make sure they don't tangle. Yarn over and pull through. The next one is white. Insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Next stitch, blue. Drop the white, pick up the blue, yarn over, pull through. Next, we have 11 blues. So work 10 blues first, carry the white yarn and the tail, insert my hook, make a single crochet, next stitch, insert my hook, carry the yarn, a single crochet, next stitch, single crochet so go ahead and make the next seven single crochets the white little tail is already buried in the work so now all we have left is this white one at the moment i have 10 blues um the next stage is blue as well but we're going to be changing color in that stitch. So still you want to insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then you want to switch color, drop the blue, pick up the white, yarn over, pull through. Next we have one white and two blues. So I'm going to work one white. Don't forget to change color here. So drop the white, pick up the blue, yarn over, pull through. Finish this stitch. Carry the white, insert your hook in the next stitch. Make a single crochet. The next stitch is blue as well. But the very next stitch is white. So drop the blue and pick up the white. Finish this stitch. Next one white. Two blues. Don't forget to carry the white. We pretty much just carry the other color whenever we're not working with it. 
The next stage is white. Drop the blue, pick up the white, finish this stitch. Work the next stitch. The next stitch is blue, so switch color and finish this stitch. And then it's the same pattern all over again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this round. I'll see you around here. So I'm currently at this one right here. We should have two blues before the next white. My first stitch here is already blue. So next I need to work one more blue between these white. And this one actually is the last stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook. Carry the white, finish this stitch, and then I'm going to slip stitch in the first stitch which is marked. When I yarn over and slip stitch, I still want to carry this white. Now we're on top of the first stitch. The first stitch of the next row is blue, so I can chain one here. If it's white, I'm going to use a white color to chain one. I'm sure even if you didn't know single crochet, you should know it by now. So normally when we work in a stitch, we insert our hook under the top two loops. But for this pattern, we're going to insert in the center of the stitch. Not here, here. Now we're starting from the first stitch. So insert your hook in the center of the stitch. Pull up a loop. The next stitch is still blue, so it's safe to finish this stitch. Next stitch, insert your hook, next stitch is blue, so I can finish this stitch. Don't forget to mark your first stitch. Third stitch blue, fourth stitch white. So. Third stitch is still blue. The next stitch is white. The next stitch blue. Between these two white, we have 13 blue, so I'm going to work the next 12 stitches in blue. If you want to hide the white in blue better, when you insert the hook, you can try insert under the white color.
like this. It looks way better like this. So I've done 12 stitches. The next one is still blue and it's on top of this white. And the very next stitch is white. So I'm going to use that to finish this stitch. And then in the next stitch, work a white. Next, we have three blues. So switch color. And work three blues. Next, white. And then 13 blues again. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this round. The last stitch of this round is white, so I should switch color here. And work one last single crochet in the last stitch. There won't be any white until the first stitch of the next round. So I'm still going to use the blue to finish the last stitch. Then I'm going to slip stitch in the first stitch in the center of the V. Don't forget to carry this white color. Make a slip stitch. Round three, the first stitch is white, and this is where we switch color for the first stitch after the slip stitch. Now chain one, insert your hook in the first stitch, work the first white. The next stitch is blue, so change color. If you want, you can keep marking the first stitch of every round. The third stitch is white. The next stitch, blue. I'm sure you get how it works now. The rest is just following the pattern experimenting and having fun.